Okay, moving right along. Guaranteed tonnage. In the agreement with Kenilworth, Kenilworth is doing around 2,600 tons now. It's been coming down from 2,900 to 26. In the agreement they signed back in December, it guaranteed the guaranteed tonnage amount was 3,000, which is more like a 2004 number, something we'll probably never achieve. Now, I understand that UCUA hasn't been enforcing this guaranteed tonnage. Will they be enforcing it? Or can you guarantee, can you guarantee that they won't enforce the guaranteed tonnage? Okay. Um, okay, the UCUA obligation had been, I guess it was 250,000 tons, 260, something like that, under the prior agreement. This new agreement raises it to 430,000 tons. And um, 330 of that is supposed to come from the, you know, the 14 towns that signed up, plus the other counts and unit counties are up to 330. And then in the, in the documents, it has this 100,000 from out of county. Uh, how do you work that? I mean, is there a certain minimum you're going to have? What is an out-of-county? What is going to be credited to the UCUA as compared to some guy from New York City dumping it off? Is that going to, is UCUA going to have to have a marketing department and sign up all this garbage that's coming in? I mean, how could that possibly work? Or do you have 100,000 lined up somewhere already? <coughs> I've explained the, the tonnage figures um, about how you get to 430,000. The contract with Avanta yeah, is 255. Um, there's a separate regulatory flow control contract which takes that figure up to 330, which is the amount of waste generated in the County of the Union. And that uh, extra 100,000 tons is viewed as an opportunity for the authority to generate additional revenue. It will not come from out of the state. 